to The Source on D3TV. I'm Amy Beth, and tonight with me is the co-president and founder of Girls Independent, Annie Tierney. So Annie, um, so you founded Girls Independent. Um, tell me exactly why you got this organization started. Well, I started the organization with the co-president, Nick, Nikki Craker, and last year I went through Rush, and I decided that the whole sorority system was not for me, so I opted out of it. And I started Girls Independent, which is an organization for women on DePaul's campus who want to be involved in campus-wide activities, but maybe don't have an outlet um, for doing so because they're not in a sorority. Like we are involved in Relay for Life and Derby Days, which is Sigma Chi's um, event, and uh, Little Five. So we're, we want to be involved in campus, but we don't want the time commitment of a sorority. So. Yeah. How can someone get involved in Girls Independent? There are many ways to get involved, I feel like. Um, we have meetings every Monday at 5 o'clock in the Fishbowl in the UB Union Building Ballroom, or not Ballroom, Union Building, and um, we talk about what events we want to do, and we talk about issues about being independent, um, and you can always contact me, send me an email, or find me on campus if you want, and I can tell you how to become involved, so it's really okay. easy. Great. Um, is Girls Independent planning any upcoming events this semester that we should know about? I'm glad you asked because that's definitely something we're planning on having, uh, well actually not planning, we are having on April 25th, which is a Friday, we are having a campus-wide formal. It's called DePaul Ball, which is um, for anyone who wants, for it's for anybody on DePaul's campus. Um, tickets, we haven't decided exactly how much money they're going to be, but they're going to be very inexpensive. So. Um, but it's going to be a suitcase formal, and I don't know of any organization that has done this recently, which a suitcase formal is where everybody who's going to the event brings an overnight bag with them, and at 11 o'clock, the dance is from 9 to 12, and so at 11 o'clock, we um, pull out of a hat one person's name, and then they pick one other person to come with them. Um, at 11 o'clock, a limo will arrive to the Walden Inn, which is where our formal is, and that limo will pick up that person who had their name picked out of the hat and one other person that they chose, and they'll be um, off in the limo to a hotel in Indianapolis right around Circle Center, and they'll have um, the night to themselves, and then the limo will pick them up the next morning. So everybody has to come, or you're supposed to come with a suitcase because you'll be um, potentially leaving for the night to Indianapolis. So. Sounds like a very fun yeah, opportunity. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Um, about what price range do you think the tickets will be? It's five to seven, seven to ten dollars, seven dollars for one person, ten dollars for two people. But that's, I'm, we're really not sure about that Okay, yet. It's totally so it could be a lot less than that. Somewhere so. very reasonable. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. Um, do you have any idea about where, like what hotel in Indianapolis? What hotel? Well, we're looking into that right now. I think it's going to be somewhere right around um, Circle Center, so right in the middle of Indianapolis. So the people who are chosen will have lots of activities and options um, that night. So great, great. Yeah. And um, how can students sign up for this event? Um, we're gonna. I, we haven't exactly decided how we're gonna get students. Um, if we're gonna like have tables or if we're just gonna do emails, but I think tabling um, during lunchtime would be a good idea. So we'll have, we'll have flyers up next week about how to um, actually sign up for the event and everything. So. Okay, great. And yeah. when are you think, thinking these sales might happen? Um, in the next, definitely uh, after spring break, because the event's April 25th. Um, so we'll definitely have it right after spring break. But I think posters are going to go up next week, so people great. will know more about it then. Will um, there be anything to do at the event, like mm -hmm. DJ, dance floor? Yeah, we have um, our very own Ben Solomon, which he's a sophomore um, at DePauw. He'll be the DJ for the night. Um, so we'll have lots of music, and there'll be some food, too, and like opportunities to like mingle and like um, hang out with your friends and dance. And we definitely want people to dance. So. Great. Um, it should be a lot of fun. And all students are invited. All Welcome to come. All students are invited. We specifically didn't call it like Girls Independent Formal because we want, it's called DePaul Ball. Mm -hmm. um, I like the name Ball. I think that that's more fun, like more Cinderella-like. Um, but yeah, you're just supposed to like dress up and it's just an opportunity to look nice and um, wear a dress or wear a suit if you're a guy and hang out with your friends and dance. So Sounds Where great. everybody, all Greek, people can come together for one dance, so. 
it's exciting. It sounds awesome. So Girls Independent really is trying to bridge gaps on campus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, and we're trying to get lots of other organizations to sponsor with us too. So Good. And it's just like a campus-wide formal. Process. Yeah. Have you thought of any other organizations? Talked to them? Um, developed yeah. any connections with them? We're still we're still in the process of deciding. Um, or not the same. We want anyone, whoever wants to like help us with this, we're more than welcome. Um, but we have campus activities helping us out and the soda club is going to help us out. So we're um, going to talk to a lot more organizations soon. So. so will you need any other help with setup? We would love as much help as we can get. Right. Yeah, so that everyone feels like this is their formal, not just girls independence, but everybody. So if I were a student who wanted to help, <laughs> how would I go about doing that? Who would I contact? Yeah, well, we'd love for you to help Amy. <laughs> um, but you can definitely contact me, um, my email, or just give me a call, um, and we can like help, or um, you can find out how to like help help set up. And we're, um, I'm on the board right now or the committee for decorations so we're deciding like how many balloons we want to get and like table decorations and stuff so okay. any help that you can provide is great. great. Your email address is? is Hanny <laughs> Tierney underscore 2010 at depaw.edu. Okay sounds yeah. great. Um, is Girls Independent doing anything else fun this semester? Um, we're gonna be in Little Five. We have a team for Little Five so that's exciting. Last year was our first um, time having an independent team so this will be our second year so that's um, something we're really looking forward to and um, Relay for Life we're going to be involved in that too so great yeah. and this is the second year for Relay for Life second also year right for Relay for Life yeah Good. yeah Good. and that was really fun last year all right well thank you very much for You're being welcome. with me thank you and that's all we have tonight I'd like to thank our guest Annie Tierney once again tune in every night at 7 30 for all the news you need to know this has been the source on D3 TV Thank you.